Here we go, guys. Here we go. And in a five, four, three, two, one. Presto Changeo Battle. Hey, guys. Welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar. And as you can plainly see, my friends, it's finally that wonderful time again. It's battle time. And of course, we're going to check out first what he brought on PC. And then we're going to hop on over to console. And of course, I will give you my two cents on this stuff. The brand new item is Prime. Oh, a what? What? Uh, what? Prime tactical pump? Wait, is this new? Well, this seems new. Might be new. Yeah, it's probably new because I don't have it, so I don't have cleanse mods anyway. So there you go, your brand new items: the Prime tactical pump, 100% reload speed for shotguns. Maybe this has something to do with the whole range damage buff thing going on so i would grab it i don't know at this point because we're gonna be getting some buffs to range weapons so i'll take it as a prior to get it prime plans mods for the infested and the grenier hardcore skip on these two my friends don't get me wrong bane mods can be good or cleanse mods can be good on the right build on the right server etc etc but they're a terrible design decision i choose not to support Terrible design decision. So prime skip on these two. Flow, however, is a must-have for anybody. You gotta get yourself this one. Max energy for your frame or prior one on this one. Quick draw on the other hand. Why are they emphasizing reload speed? Do you guys see this? You see you guys? See this? Huh? Quick draw for pistols. Tactical pump for shotguns. Hmm. Prio 2 on this one, again, as it stands now, it definitely has its uses, but I wouldn't call it a Prio 1. Get yourself a rug! <laughs> so you're, I don't know, a rug, man! Zylock, hardcore skip on this one, don't get me wrong, it's a very pretty weapon, but it doesn't really pack that big of a punch. I mean, I guess it's alright if you're willing to accept anything, it's just mastery fodder by all intents and purposes. What else we got in terms of weapon? We got a skin, we got cosmetics, which are subjective and entirely up to you. We got free day affinity booster for 400... <laughs> You serious 450 ducats for that one? No. Glaxian Vandal, however, is a must-have, my friends. Prior one on this one. Link in the cards right now for a full and detailed guide on this glorious, absolutely glorious primary weapon. What else we got? A uh, tail for the... Jesus. Gustrak free beacon. If you can't wait anymore, you can get yourself some beacons, but honestly, you're gonna get any everything you need from all the assassin type enemies in Warframe, so I wouldn't worry too much about that one. And of course, if you don't have Inaros, pick up the sands of Inaros blueprint, which will eventually get you the Warframe. That's it for the brand new item. It's reload speed for shotguns. This got me all suspicious and all whatnot regarding the brand new Dev Workshop, but more on that later. Let's hop on over to console. And the brand new item on console is the Mulciper chestplate. Now, you guys on console are gonna get all the Mulciper armor. You're gonna get the legs if you didn't get it by now, the shoulder plate. The shoulder plates are amazing, honestly. It's a subjective matter, but that's your brand new item. You get the chestplate. Fermite rounds. You, should you get it from Battle Tier? Definitely not, my friends. You can farm this one from the game, just like Astral Twilight. It may not be as easy to farm, but still, I don't think it's worth the ducats. You can simply farm it from the game. Prime Clans Corpi and Prime Clans Corrupted. I don't know, they, they're doing the Bane mods and the Clans mods two at a time. It doesn't add any value to the MDE, just, just pointing that out. Prime skip on both of these for the exact same reasons as we skipped the ones on PC. Prime Slip Magazine, however, I would get this one. Don't get me wrong, I would say it's a Prio 2, but get it just in case. Prisma Grinlock is a fantastic primary weapon as long as you understand what it does and what it is. It's a lever action rifle. If you fancy yourself a bit of a sharpshooter, you're gonna love the Prisma Grinlock. Link the cards right now for a full and detailed guide on it. Speaking about a full and detailed guide on it, the Prisma Twin Gremlins. This is my second, second, second favorite secondary weapon in Warframe. I love these. They're amazing. It's a projectile based attack, but you're gonna be able to pin enemies to walls, so it does have that flavor to it. I love it. And again, link to the cards right now for a full review on it. The Prisma Shade, it's a Sentinel, you know, I mean, it's a Sentinel, they really don't do all that much, but this is the best version of the Shade, so you might as well get it, right? The Volcar Wraith, is it powerful? 
Not very powerful, no, definitely not my first choice for Eidolon hunting, but if I was to take a sniper rifle to a normal mission, you know, sortie only sniper, that kind of thing, uh, or perhaps doing some uh, challenges, some Riven challenges, then the Volcar rifle is definitely my first choice. Look at the cards right now for a full and detailed guide on it. And that's pretty much it, my friends. The rest are subjective and entirely up to you, as they are cosmetics. I don't know what's up with the reload speed. That got me all suspicious and all whatnot. We're gonna have to wait for the dev workshop, but until next time, my friends, as always, my name has been Lazar. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And if you got any sorts of feedback for me, by all means, my friends, drop it in the comment section down below. Until next time, bye bye